Yo, what's poppin' everybody? This is another podcast with Hottest P. If you enjoy this, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified for other videos like this one. Thanks in advance, I appreciate it. This time I'm going to talk about the Toronto Raptors-New York Knicks game that ended a few minutes ago in Madison Square Garden, downtown Manhattan, New York City. The final score was 113-104. to The Toronto Raptors got the win. Unfortunately for us Knicks fans. And it's really tormenting. I mean, the fact that the Knicks were amazing, especially in the first quarter. And okay, they were mediocre in the second. But then in the half, the second half, I mean, the third and the fourth quarter, forget about it. The Toronto Raptors are all about small ball. But they're still a tough team. The Knicks started scoring by three-pointers as usual. Trent Jr. is doing good this season. I think he averages around 13 points per game. The Knicks are actually uh, number one in the NBA in three-pointers made. Oddly, that has never happened before. But anyway, this is something good, but it can also be something bad, too. Because, like I've said, I don't think that it's smart basketball to uh, depend on three-pointers all the time. Evan Fournier was having difficulties marking OG and Unobi. We all know that defense is not Fournier's specialty. Mitchell Robinson was helping the Knicks a lot by grabbing a lot of offensive rebounds. Yeah, he got several of those. That kind of dirty work is crucial in the game of basketball. Oh, and I got to see Kim Birch, the Canadian center. He's actually one of 18 Canadians that play in the NBA. Yeah, 18 Canadians play in the league. I remember him playing in the EuroLeague, in Greece particularly, for Olympiakos. He's a great rim protector. And he's improved his game. He even shoots three-pointers now. Julius Randle and uh, R.J. Barrett were knocking down threes with ease. Yeah, I'm rhyming there too. The Knicks hit eight threes in the first quarter. And that's what had them ahead in the score. Uh, which was 26-34. to 34. Yeah, the Knicks were ahead. Van Vliet was missing a lot of shots after his first one that he made. Alec Burke started scoring from long range in the second half, the third quarter, that is. The Knicks were playing unselfish basketball at that point. Obi Toppin scored an alley-oop dunk. The Raptors couldn't handle Mitchell Robinson. He was blocking everybody. He was blocking uh, Precious uh, Achiwa, the uh, Nigerian, all the time. Yeah, yeah, he was trying to score from the paint. Malachi Flynn was one of the Raptors that was scoring three-pointers. Uh, he's only 6'1", and Nick Nurse usually prefers taller guards. But regardless, they still have him. Mitchell Robinson may have been dominating with his rebounds, but not scoring. He's not a scorer. It's not his thing. The Raptors reacted. They fought back. So at halftime, the score was 53-57. to The Knicks were only four points ahead, even though they were ahead by 15 a little earlier in the second quarter. Julius Randle kept committing turnovers, a lot of turnovers. Yeah, in the third quarter as well. At some point, uh, both teams were going toe-to-toe. The Raptors unleashed on the Knicks, unfortunately. It was an amazing third quarter for them. I've said this before, you just can't depend on three-pointers for scoring. To me, that is not smart basketball. But anyway, Emmanuel quickly was missing most of his shots tonight. Jericho Sims played a little in the end of the uh, third quarter, but that's irrelevant. It was tough, and it was rough. The Knicks were scored, outscored actually, by 38 to 22, from what I can recall. And the total score at the end of the third quarter was 91 to 79 in favor of the Raptors. So everything just uh, changed there. The tables turned around. Anyway, Boucher was doing well in the fourth quarter as well, the big guy. R.J. Barrett tried to step up tonight, again, after his uh, career night, which was two nights ago. O.G. Anunobi was red hot with his three-pointers and everything, his perimeter defense. What an amazing power forward. Yeah, yeah. The English-born power forward. Actually, sorry, he, he's, a, he's a small forward, actually. And he actually went to the States at the age of four. Yeah, but he was born in England. Anyway, the Knicks' uh, efforts were inadequate. 
in the whole second half. And the whole second half was a disaster. So it's a wrap. It was a horrific game. And I have nothing else to say about this. Thanks for listening. And uh, see you next time. I'm out. Peace.